Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flair today. Uh, the Power Team Morris unboxing. This was like 40 bucks ish. Um, and I got a bunch of stuff. I was fishing over Labor Day weekend. I fished Friday night, Saturday morning, uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Monday morning. I didn't fish Monday night because I had school the next day. But uh, so I, that's when I went fishing. Uh, I was using the PTL Conviction Craw and Watermelon Red Flake, I think it was and they were just tearing it up. I have a bunch of footage from it that I'll be putting up pretty quick here, but uh, so I ordered some more and I ordered a couple new things to try, a couple new colors and stuff like that. Uh, since I had so much success on PTL this last weekend that I decided I better order some more and see what I can get from it. So I'll hold this up for you guys. Alright, fold this over. You can see everything I got. I got the 3.5 Texas Rig Jig, two different, 25 pack of 4.5 Convictions, another color of Convictions, and the JP Hammer Shad, a couple grubs, and some tubes. So, got that. Let's take a look inside. I asked them for a couple stickers, um, just because I'm trying to get my the companies that I use the most and my favorite companies um, stickers and their logos and stuff. Uh, I was gonna put them on my truck and then on my boat and I put in a little comment asking for them and they actually sent some to me. It's pretty nice of them. Um, just because I love power team lures and I love to, you know, love to tell everyone how good they are. So I'll start off with these. Uh, Pro Pack of Conviction Cross. Uh, like I said, I only, my last order was 200 bucks and I only got a six pack of them. So I was like, I better just, just get a whole bunch of them um, this time. And I'll just show you the color of them. So that's what they've been eating up. They, I'll tell you a little bit of how I've been fishing them. Uh, it's been isolated, isolated submerged vegetation. There's just a bunch of little patches of grass and weeds. And I've, I haven't been punching through them, which you can do. I'm just not a huge fan of punching. So I've been flipping around them. And this conviction crawl will actually swim backwards a little bit. So it swims kind of into the weeds a little bit. And they were just pounding the snot out of them. So I've, I mean, I have some footage of this uh, to show you guys. But that's what that's what they've been biting on lately. And they were also biting on the blue swirl, the green pumpkin blue swirl. I did have one pack of those that I was that I was throwing. They were, they didn't really care what color. They were just eating them up. So then here I got uh, another 4.5 condition crawl, black with red flake. Yeah, it's got a little blue, and I don't know why they don't say black and blue, but it is. I mean, it's got both. And I got this for the real dirty water. I fish some occasional dirty water. I don't really fish any clear water. It's mainly stained, but this one. You can see in the light, it kind of glows blue. But it's, it's, I mean, it's a real dark color for that dirty water. Winter times, I feel like dark uh, dark colors work a little bit better. Um, just because it, it dark, if you look at a black t-shirt and a, and a white t-shirt, the white one always looks bigger. It's the same principle as these. Um, so it's just a little, little more subtle. I know there's nothing subtle about this thing, but I just, you know, you just got to try things. Just like... I tried the green pumpkin red flake and it ended up working for me, so. Okay, I got a couple packs of grubs here. Um, this is green pumpkin and then black and blue. I got these for my swim jigs and chatter baits and, and spinner baits, I guess. Um, for those watermelon candy chatter baits and bluegill colored swim baits and chatter baits and all, I got these. Just the green pumpkin color. These are all time my favorite grubs just because of the backward facing ribs and then the rib tail. It has tons and tons of action. It has it actually has more thump than it does twirl. So it's kind of like a, like a boot tail, but at the same time it's a little more subtle. It's not quite so hard. So, And the, just the stain to clear water, these are usually work a little bit better than the boot tail. And then I got these in the black and blue for black and blue jigs, um, swim jigs, and chatter baits, and crazy jigs see those and I already have a pearl one that I got from my last order otherwise I would have gotten some more of those and then the next thing I wanted to try out was the 3.5 Texas rig jig I bought a bunch of 4.5s and it ended up being they were too big for the bass around my house but I travel a lot when I go fishing tournaments and I go western Nebraska which has a lot bigger bass so that's why I got those 4.5s so for little little lakes and ponds around here I got these 3.5s instead, which I think I'm just going to kill them on these. You can see it's just a smaller version of the 3.5. Um, 
just a little, you know, a little bit smaller for those. I mean, mainly the bass I'm catching are between 12 and 16 inches, and that's perfect size. Those 4.5s are better for the bigger fish, but those big fish don't really exist like local. I have to travel probably 30 minutes to get into a decent sized bass. So. And then I got some in, I got, need to take these out, I'll push it up. It's got some in black and blue with red. Same thing, the 3.5s. And these I wanted to try. I'm gonna get the 3.5s next time, because these are pretty big, but they'll work, I mean, they'll work summertime. They always want big baits, but winter time, smallmouth fishing, the 3.5s will be a better choice. But these are the tubes. And I think I'm gonna go out this afternoon and try some. But I think I'm gonna like them, because the heads, actually, it's not, you can hear it's hollow in there. I guess I can get you, I'll look inside. I can, you see, I can stick my finger through it. It's hollow, but then at the, the tip of it is, uh, it's solid. So your hooks, um, you can get a, your hook in them better, you know, get the hook, whatever, so it doesn't come out. And then it's got these two bigger pinchers, and then it's got just the skirt. And what I'm mainly gonna use these for is like those isolated grass patches, flipping in there. Um, this looks like a great flipping bait into some tighter cover, I guess. And I'm actually gonna try punching it. I'm, I haven't really heard too much about punching with these. But I think that's what I'm going to do because what it's going to do is it's it can, I mean, you can see how thin it can get. So it's going to punch right through and then once it hits the ground, it's going to go like this and kind of flare out a little bit. You know, and these should be moving up and, you know, looking like a crawfish standing on its on its legs. So that's what I'm going to try them for. I'm going to get some 3.5s, like I said, for some small mouth when I go up north a little bit. Um, but there's those. And then finally, I got some hammer shads. Uh, just the 3.5s. I haven't got the 4.5s yet. I know they're probably pretty good, but, um, I just, I'm trying to buy as little as I can right now, just to s save up some money. I'm buying a lot of Denali fishing rods right now, so I need the money. Um, but these are, what I'm going to use these for is just drop shot, and it looks perfect. These actually look bigger in the picture, but these are going to actually be perfect size, because it's a big, meaty head for your hook, but then the tail, and it's got the cupped squirrel tail on it. So it should float a little bit better because the water should be under it. But it should be sweet drop shot. And I got it for fall, winter, and spring fishing. Not summer fishing, really. But I just got them um, to try. Like I said, I'm just trying a bunch of new lures. And uh, it's basically what I'm doing. Uh, so uh, that's my unboxing. If you have any questions, um, I do have a 10% off Power Team Lures discount code that I can give you. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll put it in the description in this video. But if you are looking to buy some Power Team, make sure to come contact me. Just message me. Say, hey, can you give me that 10% off code? And I'll say, sure. And I'll, I'll email it to you, and you can get 10%. I've talked to a couple guys that already that have used mine. Some guy made a $60 order and used it, and someone made a $100 order and used it. So they spent $110 and $70, and they got it for $60 and $100. Um, so, uh, or not $60, but either way. It's still 10% off is what I mean. So, I mean, I've already had two guys use it, and they said it's an awesome deal, and, you know, thanked me for it. So if you guys are wanting to do that, if you guys are wanting Power Team, uh, I'll get you 10% off. Just let me know. Like I said, I don't know if I'll put it in the description or not. But, uh, so that's it. Go check out Power Teams. Uh, definitely the Conviction Cross. I've been just killing it here. Uh, isolated vegetation. I'm pegging the weight on it. And that's basically what I'm doing. So uh, that's it, and thanks for watching.